Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to KMJ Studios. It's your boy Jay. And it's your girl Kaya. And today we have some pretty exciting topics for you guys. I mean, yes, we do. it's exciting for those who are DC fans. I mean, I'm not a huge DC fan, but what I can say is that today's topic is exciting for me. First, starting off with our Superman and Lois review. A lot of people didn't know, they didn't get a lot of promotion. I, uh, I didn't really did see, not know. I didn't know that, I mean, I had, our brother told us that it came out and I was, he told really? us to watch it. We're, We're like, like, okay, what? so I haven't seen any promotions so it might be good. But the show is called Superman and Lois. Yup. <laughs> anyway, so Makai, you wanna start us out here? Okay, so the premiere date for Superman and Lois was February 23rd, 2021. We didn't so we are late, guys. I'm not going to We didn't hear about this movie until, like, yesterday. So, like, we're, like, two days late. We we didn't see no promotion for the um for this show. Two days, Makaya? We didn't see. We're two days late on a premiere. We didn't watch it. We're late. It was, like, three days? It was, like, two or three days four, after the four, premiere four, when we actually four, were able four, to watch days. it. So like we didn't see no like commercials, we didn't see any videos of people talking about it. Uh, uh. We didn't see anything on the show, so we had like no idea. I mean, to me, I thought that maybe that would mean that the show is pretty much trash. But after watching the show, I was like, you know what? It's actually not that bad. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't as bad as I was expecting it to be. I agree. I mean, um, I'm not a DC fan. I don't like DC. So I'm not a huge DC movie or show fan. I was a fan of their comics, but they got a little bit out of hand with those as well. So I kind of stopped getting with those. So I think the only thing that I really liked from them was their animated series. The, what, the animated yeah, they're, series they're like movie. cartoon shows are actually um, really pretty good. I enjoyed watching them when I was younger. I mean, but you know, this show, I'm impressed, I must say that the first episode you didn't get the horrible you know cw graphics for a superhero mm -hmm. show that's just insanely bad mm -hmm. for no reason yeah like it was actually very, they actually did a very good job um as far as how the actors that they chose there's very good and mature acting mm -hmm. for what from what i could see it's very fitting for a show on tv uh, that you expect people to go and watch week after week after week. Uh -huh. um, it wasn't, uh, they weren't lazy writing the script. Um, so I was, I, I was like, wow, this is new for DC. I've never seen this before where they actually have a good script, a good plot, a good storyline, really good actors. Uh -huh. um, can't say that I was too surprised. Um, by the fact that I didn't see a lot of actors I recognized yeah. in those yeah, roles. I'm too. glad they actually went and got some people who are kind of new. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think I think that they did a pretty good job first episode. Um, there's some questions that I have, but that's always good. Mm -hmm. I mean, Lois is clearly a lot older than the Superman. I'm not sure if I like the <laughs> I'm not sure if I like the actors that they got for Lois either. I don't know. She just she just didn't hit as a Lois to me. Like, I didn't. Really it's because she's old. She does look older than him. I'm gonna be honest. She, she does look a little bit older. I think than him. I think she's quite a bit older than him. Uh, Tyler Hoechlin, who is uh, who plays Superman, he is 33 and she is 40. Comment what you think. Did you like her? Like I feel like her acting and stuff was good. Like mm -hmm. it was spot on. Nothing it's wrong great. with that. I just it's just like the, the, look. the look. Yeah, the I wasn't look. too crazy about I mean, it. Yeah, I also hope that throughout the season we get to see more from her as well. Mm -hmm. Actually, actually, like her character development, how she is as a person, mm -hmm. and also Superman as well. Because like I said, we always get one side of Superman. It's always like you know out there fighting. Do we know he obviously he was his job? Yeah, so we never get like an insight on his actual life and things like that. So I think that's actually cool. Actually cool, we can make a connection with him. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I, one thing I really did like about the show though was how they did the recap in the beginning. They kind of did like an overview of his life. They didn't made it really too, fast. They didn't. They didn't make it too long. It was like in a, the perfect amount of time with a good amount of information, mm -hmm. like in the beginning part, which I think was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, I also like the fact that we're getting like a different side of Superman because I feel like every time Superman is presented to us, it's we always get like this stupid this thing. Same yeah, pretty much the same thing over and over again. So I like the fact that they kind of like skip past all that, all of that, because we already know, we already know Superman's story. We know all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think now it's kind of cool that we actually get to see a little bit more into his life and how everything is going that way. It's gonna. I think my my the question for me is how like it's gonna um, how the rest of this how the rest of the season is gonna go. 
Um, cause right now you're getting kind of like more of like the family aspect and not really too much of the action. Like mm. we got action in there, but it wasn't like a whole lot of action. So I'm trying to see how that's going to balance out throughout the season. Mm. But, um, I think that's going to be pretty interesting. As for people who are used to like a lot of action with superheroes and stuff like that, I'm not sure how they would feel mm. about the show so far. I mean, I'm fine with it I because a lot of su Superman's fight scenes are so stere stereotypical and yeah. basic, but a character like Superman with how long he's been out and how many Superman fight scenes we've seen. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with seeing a little bit less. Obviously you have a little bit of combat and stuff in right. there from Superman here and there inside of the show. Um, in the episode, I mean, mm -hmm. but like to see countless fight scenes for, for no reason, yeah. I don't really think yeah, it's necessary. I, I, and I'm glad, spoiler, if you've seen this, spoiler, mm -hmm. but he, he loses his job. That made sense to me. Yeah. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. how is this dude employed as a journalist at this newspaper mm -hmm. for this long? And he's just leaving work, like not not showing up to work. Exactly. And he's not fired by now. So exactly. the fact that he got fired, I was like, yes. Yeah, and it's finally, like, and the fact that they finally the fact that they also gave them like financial issues really brought them down to earth. Because I feel like a lot of times with heroes, it's like they always have money, but it's like, okay, so how are you getting that much? I know you're missing you work. And so, yeah, it's like it's like stuff like that to where I like how they made it realistic and stuff like that, knowing that you know they do have financial struggles, they do have everyday struggles and stuff like we do as human beings. So I like that part as well that they're making them um, bring more of the humanity out of out of like Superman and stuff like that. So I think that's really good. And I also like that they killed the mom. I mean, I'm not saying that. Oh, the way you said that, it's I not, like really killed the mom. <laughs> it's not, I'm not, I don't mean it like that, but um, I think that them focusing in on his relationship with Lois and his and family, his, and his family right. is more important than having a mom there. Mm -hmm. Um, sort of pulling his attention in other places. Right. Especially since we see sort of the cracks inside of his family's mm -hmm. relationship and particularly his son and his social disability. Yeah. I think that he need. I think they need more space to deal with that mm -hmm. as opposed to having another character in there. I and I also think that her death plays a bigger role in the show I, I think that it would be it that that it wouldn't make sense if she was still alive in the show was I still agree on. so I, I agree. feel like it helps to better develop the story all right so who is the villain shown at the end okay so a lot of people were confused as to who this villain actually was obviously we, we hear Captain Luther and we think Lex Luther right so like I looked it up because I was actually kind of wondering is this actually Lex Luther or not well fact of the matter is that Lex Luthor isn't the only uh, Luthor mm -hmm. in the DC universe, right? right? So that's first thing to remember. That's DC for you, by the way. DC, there's always more than one. It's, mm -hmm. You know, they got like 20,000 different, universe different universes yeah. with 20... <laughs> and not to mention the different Earths and the different dimensions. So we're mm -hmm. not even going to get to that. So this could be a Lex Luthor from a different Earth. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. um, what I, One thing that I did think about is that this could be a situation where he has beef with Superman because a Superman on a different Earth destroyed that. They're like, cause you know how there's a bad Superman yeah. in another universe. Mm -hmm. Maybe that Superman destroyed that planet, mm -hmm. right? Destroyed his planet, and oh. he's he came to that planet like yeah. he said. Yeah. But he got beef with the Superman on that planet because, because of that of other yeah. Superman. Yeah. Okay, that makes that sense. That could be because that could explain why he knew everything about right, about, about Superman. Superman and, yeah. So that could be something that's that that could be. I'm, I'm not completely sure, mm -hmm. but that could be something that sort of fuels that. So right. they, obviously, one option could be that he's from a different Earth. Mm -hmm. Uh, another option is could, that it, could, it couldn't be, it might not be Lex Luthor at all, but could be Alexander Luthor, uh, who is Lex Luthor's father, right? But the problem is, is that Lex, when you look at that theory, we're not talking about, this isn't past Superman, this is present Superman, or this isn't future Superman, this is present Superman. So my question would be, that considering the actor that they got for Kevin Luthor, I mean for Captain Luthor, mm -hmm. he's much too young to be Alexander Luthor. Mm -hmm. That's number one. And number two, where would Lex Luthor be? That's true. Because Lex Luthor mm -hmm. isn't a kid fighting Superman. Lex mm -hmm. Luthor is a grown behind man, most yeah. likely midlife crisis, mm -hmm. hitting around that area, mm -hmm. right? So you're, he's a bald, older man. Mm -hmm. So when we take that into account, it's hard to say, well, it's Alexander Luthor only because, you know, Alexander Luthor, Alexander Luthor is the older 
part of Lex Luthor. So the simple explanation could simply be this isn't Lex or any other Luthor. This is just Captain Luthor, a brand new character that they've created because what we're seeing now is that everything that's being done is completely independent of the comics. So if the show that they're making is independent of the comics, then it could be it, it could be that he's that that Captain Luthor isn't linked to the com uh, to yeah. the comics either. Yeah, he maybe it's the new character altogether. Yeah, that's why I found out that he isn't. So if you're trying to compare him to anybody in the comics, you're not going to find it because this is an independent character. Mm -hmm. So this is a character that they've developed on their own. Mm -hmm. Um, I hope they one thing that I hope they do with this with this particular show on Superman They've developed the characters very well. They've helped us understand Superman They've helped us understand Lois Lane and particularly their relationship and his relationship with his sons and his sons relationship with each other um, But one thing that I want them to do now with Superman that they've never done is I want them to um, Explain the villain mm -hmm. I want them I want to understand the villain Mm -hmm. Because and that's and that's another thing that's that's sort of coming out now that Marvel's been doing so great with is Having us understand the villain from what I found like it seems like we're gonna be able to learn a lot more about like the villains and stuff in this season I mean, that's what they're telling us based on like some of the information that I was able to find on it So what can we expect from Captain Luthor in this show? What I found was Captain Luthor is going to be it's going to turn out to be more of a sympathetic character when his back once his back background is revealed which means they're going to get a lot of backstory on this character we're going to learn a lot of this character independently so a lot of his backstory we're really going to get to have a connection with the villain which is not, i think like you said something different than what we're used to when it comes to dc shows <coughs> uh -huh. and movies so we're really going to get to know like character development villain. period dc yeah. hasn't done a great job with character development at all hopefully the director of this uh, of, of of this show can show us some character development and based off of his past resume i believe that he will so this is a quote based off of one of the people who who's over the show it says all i'll say is you're going you're really going to get this guy's background where he's from what he's like where he comes from his professional life his personal life you're going to get to know why he's going after superman once you understand his motivation it's like what wally oh what Wally said at TCA's, it's like every villain is the hero of their own story. It's true. Once you start to understand who this guy is and what his motivations are, I think people are going to look at him differently. Mm -hmm. Which is, seeing this got me kind of excited because I'm like, okay, so this is good. DC is actually like stepping up and going to actually develop these characters properly. I believe he's going to be like a hardcore villain, but I think we're just going to get like that other like side of him. With a character like this, who's a human, who is a person, mm -hmm. I think that is necessary. Yeah. I mean, because that that he's a he's a person, he's not an alien. But this is a person, is so he does have a life outside of what he's doing, and he does have a job and everything like that. So I think when you take that into account, when you take those things into account, you have to develop right. who he is. You have right. to. Yeah. So um, as you guys might have known, there's already a Lex Luthor in the Arrowverse. In CW's Arrow Arrowverse, anyway. So, um, how does this new Lex? Um, how will he compare compare to John Cryer's Lex Luthor? So, this is a good uh, question. Ew, ew, ew. I don't, I don't like Supergirl <laughs> at all. So, I mean, my thing is, I don't really care about that Lex Luthor. Yeah. But this is what I got so far. This is what Ta Todd Helbing has to say. He says, what John Cryer does on Supergirl is awesome, and I think the way they presented this version of Lex Luthor is fantastic. We wanted to present a villain or an adversary to Superman at the beginning that just felt different and threatening, but could also lead us in a way that you can't necessarily go with a John Cryer version of it. So it's like they're going to be like totally different, um, probably going to be like totally different mm -hmm. characters. Basically. And what this also tells me is that this character is Lex Luthor, just a different universe's version of him. And that's what I can agree mm -hmm. because he says, notice how he specifically points out Lex Luthor. Mm -hmm. He doesn't identify any other villain. He points directly to Lex Luthor and says, this version of Lex Luthor. Mm -hmm. Now, then he doubles back behind it and he says we wanted to present a villain. Mm -hmm. So it may not, so he's saying it may not be Lex Luthor, but the fact that he points directly to Lex Luthor and shows directly this Lex Luthor, not Lex Luthor period, right. but this version in specific of Lex Luthor, maybe, seeing, maybe showing that we may be getting a different re rendition of Lex Luthor. Mm -hmm. But since Lex Luthor already exists mm -hmm. inside of uh, the Arrowverse with mm -hmm. Supergirl, what I, I go back to my previous theory, 
this may be a Luthor from a different universe. I agree. And considering the technology that he has and the technology that he's wearing, keep and in mind also, his suit couldn't be penetrated. Too. He has he, he also had a ship. Yeah. So when you take that into account, my theory, my 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 solid and final theory is that this Lex Luthor is from that that this Captain Luthor is from a different universe. Experienced ex, had it had an experience with a Superman on that Earth, mm -hmm. which wound up in the destruction of his parents. With, of his family, uh, of his, of his, uh, of his planet. Yeah. Now he's on this. That earth makes speed. sense because <clears throat> reading the um an article, it mentioned how um basically how Superman would be able to somehow it would be hard for him mm -hmm. um because of the fact that um you know he has a family and stuff like that. And I think when we get to learn uh, Luther's backstory, we'll find that maybe he had a family as well. Mm -hmm. So maybe Superman will be conflicted in a way because he, he has a family so I feel like he'll probably be able to sympathize with him in a mm -hmm. way. So it'll make it kind of hard for them in that way. So I guess we get, that, that'll definitely fit. Mm -hmm. So based and, on and that's, and that's what everybody us. wants, a complicated relationship between hero and villain. Right. Um, those are usually the most popular relationships. The ones where it's hero, villain, it's me against you, you're my enemy, you're my enemy, but I understand you, I sympathize with you. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of a situation where it's like, a, it's a complicated relationship, mm -hmm. almost a, a complicated friendship in yeah. a way. In any other situation, if I didn't have powers, if you didn't have powers, if I didn't have powers and you didn't have on that mm -hmm. suit, we could be friends right. type situation. Right. I, so I want to get into some of the public ratings, okay? So, so far the Google users, 79% like this show, which, mm -hmm. isn't, which isn't bad. It's not, it's very good for a DC show. Mm -hmm. Very, very good for it a is. DC it's show. It is, it's probably one of the best DC, so, DC shows I've actually seen. Um, Rotten Tomatoes is 85%. Mm. IMDB mm -hmm. is 8.2 and a, uh, 8.2 out of 10. So that's actually really good. Uh -huh. Okay, so there's a lot of people who like this show, haven't heard much, many bad things about it, but there were some things that people did not like or exactly understand, and that was them um, basically killing off the mom because they're like, okay, so we understand that she wanted to get a point across to um, to Superman that he needed to make more time for his family and stuff like that. And so to get that point across to him, it came to her having to die from actually get that, what she actually wanted for him. You know what I'm saying? But that's the thing is that, you, how can you have an issue with that when the fact of the matter is that that's how it happens for most of us in real life, is it takes for a tragic situation for you to really want to make a change. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing is that, for anybody to have a problem with that idea, mm -hmm. or have a problem with, it, with them killing Martha, mm -hmm. First of all, one thing that we have to understand is that we're living sort of in the future of Superman, mm -hmm. which is now I have a family, now I have kids. Mm -hmm. Martha's gone up in age. Mm -hmm. She has to die at some yeah. point. The fact of the matter is, is that in real life, we never really make huge life changes mm -hmm. until something tragic happens. Yeah. And this is the perfect tragedy yeah to make that character development begin yeah i feel like they even could have had a scare not necessarily kill her off but i feel like by the fact that they killed her off i think that it benefited them in a way you know what i'm saying because it helps the plot they needed to get them back over that area for mm -hmm. the plot to be necessary because how they have known what's going on behind the scenes as mm -hmm. far as like with the housing and all the other stuff going on uh, how they have known about that unless she had died mm -hmm. because it wasn't until after she died that he was aware of what was going on exactly mm -hmm. like with the property and all that kind of stuff yep. so i feel like it just it, it fit with the plot it's uh, it, you know it's sad to see that she had to die you know things like that but at the same time it works for the plot it doesn't not make sense for me i look at it like martha has done enough mm -hmm. we know what martha's done for clark kent in the past mm -hmm. we know what she's done for superman mm -hmm. now we need to understand more of his family as opposed to Martha. I think that was her last duty yeah. to him is to make sure that his family was able to, to really fix it. So the second one is that the show is actually being accused of sexism by a former writer because of the lack of scenes featuring Lois. Which I, I disagree. It's way too early to because it's a, it's super. It's episode one. Yeah, I, I mean we still have a lot of time to really get to know her as a person. You know what I'm saying? There's so much time, and I feel like we did see enough of her to where it was just like, where is she at? I feel like there was a good amount of scenes with her in it. I mean, we don't know anything about the main villain yet. We don't know the ins and outs of his kids. We don't know mm -hmm. the ins and outs of Lois. We right. don't know really anything about anyone yet. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the show 
do something like uh, double backs each character where a specific episode is based on specifically one character. Mm -hmm. A day in the life of Superman, day in the life of Lois Lane, day in the life, this, life of this yeah, because, day in the life of that Because song. if you think about it, it is Superman and Lois. So I know that they're going to delve deeper into her character. Mm -hmm. And also you have to think about how his lifestyle affects her. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure that it's gonna they're going to have to bring, to, to tell us more about her because of the fact that, you know, to, for, for it to be Superman and Lois, we got to understand mm -hmm. both of them. But the third one is that um, the, they, people were saying that the first episode is too hard on Kent. They said that he lost both of his parents within the first 30 minutes of the show. And Clark also loses his job while also fitting off a new villain. And then also having to deal with his teenage sons as far as like, trying to shield them from who he actually is with the superpowers. And then also them finding out that he has superpowers later mm -hmm. on. So it's just like the fact of I don't really think it was that. Once again, was that's that life. It's life. That's it's life. Like, yeah, yeah. Like people, like people get get upset for saying that shows aren't realistic, mm -hmm. but that's life. That's that's and especially now in this year that we're living in this past year that we just came out of in 2020, and even the way 2021 is coming out, mm -hmm. people are struggling. Right. And people are dealing with things that are hard. Mm -hmm. People have actually lost their jobs while actually having kids, mm -hmm. <laughs> while actually having to deal with loss of family members. Mm -hmm. These are things that a normal American on a daily basis is dealing to. with that yeah. that they can relate to. Yep. Why is Superman immune from those same pains and heartaches just because he's Clark, mm -hmm. just because he's Superman, Clark Kent? Yeah. He's still vulnerable to the same things that we're vulnerable to. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's humanizing him to where we can actually understand him human to human. Mm -hmm. Like we, we get that. Yeah. You know, this is what we go through. This is how we can relate to you. And, and even though it happened in the thir first 30 minutes of the show, his dad died when he was younger. Yeah, when he was younger. So it didn't necessarily happen. Yeah, it didn't. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. So what? Would, now that we have that down, what would you rate the show? Um, The first episode, I will watch it again. Yeah. So I'm going to give it um, an eight and a half. I, I was going to say eight. Mine is an eight. Mm -hmm. I, so, I, really, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed, enjoyed the show, honestly. It was a good show. But um, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you, make sure you comment what you thought. Are you going to watch the show? I really I highly recommend watching it. It's actually a really good show. So if you haven't heard about it, you can definitely watch it on the CW app. I don't know if there's any other platforms. But right now, all I know is that you can watch it on CW or the CW app. So definitely check it out. Let us know what you think in the description below. If you had any issues with it, like just tell us your thoughts in the, in the description. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Do it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Indeed.